We are finally getting to the backyard. It has stopped raining. We had six days of straight rain. Uh, yesterday I came out here and I was able to move some of that sand back around and level it off. I'll show you what I, what I did here in just a second. But today we're gonna bring out the power rake again. And what I wanna try and do is move the sand and kind of turn it in with the existing dirt that's there and the old compost that was there that we put back in the spring. Because I can't get any more compost right now. The the compost facility is pretty much out and I, and I can't wait anymore. I just need to get this thing done. So that's what we're gonna be working on today and then we'll get to the seeding and then putting down some of the peat moss on top of that. And then we'll also uh, do a bunch of fertilizer and water. So uh, first things first, let me show you what's going on right now and then we'll get to all of the power raking. All right, so this is all the stuff that we did yesterday afternoon. I was able to get all the sand and kind of level it off a little bit even though we're gonna turn it up quite a bit. And it all clumped up right back there in that back corner. So as you see right there where that big shadow is right there, that's where it all clumped up and we had to dig out probably about six bucketfuls uh, from our gorilla cart to move the dirt away from there. And then over here was kind of a disaster as well because of all the rain. But I was able to level it all off. I'm actually gonna reseed this whole area. And then, like I said, I moved all of the sand back in here and then what we'll do is we're going to bring the power rake. I'm going to avoid that area back there with the power rake because I don't want to disturb the little bit of grass that's there. But everything else is going to get churned. And I'll probably spend, I don't know, maybe a, a couple hours just moving this stuff around and see what I can do. And then, um, and then we'll have to level it off with a rake and with our roller. So let's get to that. So our local Lowe's has a brand new rental facility and I was able to get this. I'm the first user on this power rake. Makes me a little bit nervous, but that's okay. We got the uh, damage waiver just in case something bad goes. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get to using this real quick. Oh, another thing I wanted to go ahead and show you guys was that our little water mitigation with the blue hose worked perfectly. So we were able to keep a lot of the water out of here. I had a pretty deep area right there where it pulled up, but it wasn't because of the downspouts. It was because it was just a low spot. So that's kind of all that sand that I moved over to kind of put that away. And then our little hose right here on the side worked very well as well. So none of the water was going back into the, into the lawn from here. Unfortunately, just the volume of water that we got over the last six days, it, it was a straight stream coming off of this hill and then running all the way down was just a, a stream and it just took a bunch of stuff. Like I said, it was probably up to that second two by four or I'm sorry, the first two by four on the fence, that's how high the sand had gotten. We had to bring it back down. But at least I know that this water mitigation is gonna work for the short term. And as long as I don't get six days of rain, we should be in good shape. So that's pretty much it. I mean, I think uh, all we need to do is clean this thing and uh, take it back and then I'll start raking things out. But we're in good shape. I'm pretty happy with this. All right, folks, well, today we are gonna continue our seeding project back here. Last night, I got all my sprinklers fixed for all of these, uh, putting in a bunch of MP rotors for this area and over on the other side of the lawn. So as you can see, most of the ground has been moved around quite a bit. There's uh, quite a bit of loose dirt, which is exactly what we wanted. We wanted to take the power rake and really fluff up everything and mix everything together so it's pretty homogenous between compost, topsoil, and sand. Uh, we had to fix a couple of the sprinklers over here as well, and uh, so we're all set there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our landscape rake and we're gonna move things around so that they are fairly 
smooth and then we're gonna take our uh, roller and actually roll it out. Now I know that the water roller seems counterintuitive because of the fact that we just fluffed up all this dirt But the reason that we're doing the water roller is to actually get everything nice and flat So we're not going to sit there and compact everything again We just want it nice and flat so that we have a good surface for us to put the seed on Once you have the seed on there We'll roll it again just to make sure we have good seed to soil contact and then we should be good to go with the, with the uh, peat moss. So our next step right now is just the landscape rake and the water roller, and then we'll get to the seating here in just a minute. So let's get to it. All right, well, we're done with all of our rolling. So now what we're gonna do is put down some of this RPR, same stuff we did up in the front. The big difference is we're not doing any uh, Kentucky bluegrass back here. I'm kind of regretting not doing it because I do have a lot of sun over on that side, but over here on this side where it's really shady, I mean, obviously it's not gonna grow as well, but uh, I may still add some in the spring um, in this back area, but for now we're just gonna get this stuff down. I'm gonna go at about a 10, so it's gonna go a little bit light and I can always go over it a second time. Um, but I've, I use a little bit over that back corner. I'll go light in that very back corner because we're just redoing it and then we should be good to go from there. Once we're done with this, we'll roll it again and then we can work on the bee moss. So let's get to it. Done with rolling so now we're gonna get our compost down uh, I'm not sure if I'll get to fertilizing tonight or this afternoon uh, if not I'll do it first thing in the morning but let's get the compost get it wet and then we'll go from there finished the entire backyard. All the seed, it's all rolled out. Everything is in place. We even got over here on the side. I didn't go very far up the hill on this side just because I didn't think it was worth it. I'm not gonna get my real mower up there, so there's no point. We'll do something else with that hill later on. So I am way too tired to do fertilizing tonight. So I'm gonna just gonna stop here. But turn on the sprinklers, get everything nice and wet, get things moving, and also get it settled. And then tomorrow morning, I'll come in with some liquid fertilizer and uh, we'll take care of it. So stay tuned for that. See you guys tomorrow. All right, folks, well, we are on our last step of this process for seeding the backyard. We're doing the exact same thing that we did last time. We're gonna uh, do our fertilizer. Everything's all ready to go. Everything's got, it's leveled, seeded. Uh, we've got um, peat moss down, so we are good to go. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. The 16212 Green Pop, which is just a perfect starter fertilizer because we've got that high phosphorus in the middle, which we typically wouldn't do because I've got plenty of phosphorus in my lawn, but I am gonna do it for this occasion just because it is a starter. And then obviously the root growth stimulant because that's gonna help with root development. So all of these products are gonna work well together and uh, we're gonna put it in our hosing sprayer and just put it out here in the lawn, pretty simple. 
It's the exact same measurements that we did before. I think I gave the wrong measurements actually on the last video, but we're doing three ounces per 1,000 for the RGS, and then it's 15 ounces per 1,000 for the green pop. And since I'm doing about 2,000 square feet back here, I'll just double that in the mixer and we'll be good to go. So let's just get to it. Oh, and don't forget to uh, gloves so you don't get stained and mix it so that it's you know, not in a bunch of uh, all the particles that are in here, all the goodness can get in there. That's it, we are done with the backyard. We did a lot of work back here. We added a bunch of sand, we leveled it, we moved it around, we actually churned up a bunch of the dirt with that power rake to make sure that we had the sand incorporated fairly well over the you know top one or two inches of the backyard. Uh, we were able to level it out and then we did the RPR from Berenbrook was our seed, which is basically the perennial ryegrass, but it's that regenerative perennial ryegrass, which you put up in the front. Really pleased with the way it's looking up there and hoping for the same type of results back here. Um, we also added um, some of that fertilizer just now and the root growth stimulant. So I think that we have a really good shot of making this grass back here a really big success. But I'll come back at the end of this video after um, I stop talking and uh, we'll come back in a few days so that you guys can see what the results are and you can see how we're doing. The front actually germinated in about four days. I'm hoping for similar results, which would put us around Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. But I'll come back and show you that. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I really would appreciate that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, but you are so inclined, and if I've earned that subscription, then please subscribe. And if you wanna take it a step further, and if you wanna be notified of future videos, don't forget to hit that bell, and we will see you on the next one. Have a great weekend, everybody.